Thank you, Madam Chairman. This is also a resigning request. This is by the Salvation Army uh, for properties, part of that they own and part of they are trying to use uh, to resume from R6 to R10. Properties located near the intersection of Virginia Avenue and North Troop Street. Um, zoning map and the character area map on the screen tell some important stories. Um, the zoning map see the subject property, which is four parcels. The RP property directly to the south, that is the existing Salvation Army facility, which has been there for many, many years. The area to the north is a historic neighborhood. This is all local historic district. But the area directly to the north is part of the East End National Register District. And some of these houses in here are actually contributing resources, uh, but not all of them. Um, Salvation Army is looking to expand their campus. They already have some of these properties on Virginia currently using them. We would like to utilize more property. And in order to do that, they need a zoning change. The maximum that is allowed by character area, which is established residential, is RM zoning. So they cannot make all of their campus RP like the main facility. So the best they can hope for is split RP on the south, maybe RM <coughs> on the north. Um, some of their ambitions, as you look forward to in your packet, is their site sketch. And I emphasize the word sketch. Um, you see the large rooftop. That's their existing facility. You see the four parcels of the subject property. They're looking at expanding the types of housing or transitional housing. Um, if you look in the upper left corner, that is the men's shelter, which is a transitional housing facility. Um, the parcels to the east of that, there are two of them that each have existing houses. We would like to either demolish those or renovate those for similar type use, albeit a smaller facility. Um, the property on the corner of the streets, in the upper right hand corner, is not what they own. They're having a little bit of difficulty acquiring it. Uh, the property to the south of that is uh, an abandoned house that they're in the process of acquiring. But you see their sketch there is to um, transform that property into a series of small dwellings. Um, I hesitate using the term tiny house because what they're showing you is tiny duplex. I'm not sure what tiny duplex would ultimately look like. <coughs> They don't have the drawings that far developed yet, so we're still in the infancy. And then you see an internal driveway and parking lot running through the property and tying the campus together. Their plans are to make stepping stone progress to a plan development proposal. Um, the first step is to make it eligible for plan development with the uses they have in mind, which require the zoning change to RM of at least the subject property. Um, if not, perhaps a little bit more, such as this one other parcel on North Troop. Um, otherwise, they're stuck with the R6 type usage there. Um, that would be one stepping stone. The other one, which I think would be next on their list, is to gain concurrence of approval from the Historic Preservation Commission about what demolitions would be allowed, if any, and also what new construction would look like that would be considered compatible with the historic neighborhood. A lot of unknowns there. Again, all they have is a site sketch. They do not have architectural drawings of any kind yet or details of how these houses would look on the interior or how they would function. So they're trying to take this one step at a time. This has been over 12 months in the making just to get to this point. So it has been a slow process. Um, the question here with this first step is if the RM is not going to be approved, then they don't need to go any further with it. But if the RM is approved, then maybe they could go on to the next step. So that is really the intent. Subject property with an aerial from 15 years ago shows existing rooftops. The subject property on the dog leg that faces North Troop, that house burned down a few years ago, so that is a vacant lot. Property to the north is vacant and abandoned, all boarded up. I have photographs of those, but these are in different areas of um, condition. And you see the large rooftops of the main facility to the south, including the original building, which is in the darker roof, 
and then the gymnasium part of their facility, which is in the red roof. Um, zoning areas, we've got a survey. Photographs, this is the Salvation Army as seen from the street corner of Smithland and Truth. This is not subject property, but this is. This is the men's dormitory on Virginia Avenue. As you can see, that is not a historic building, but it has been there for many years, been used by them. Uh, property to the east, um, a historic house that needs an awful lot of TLC, if not replacement. The house next door, also in the same type of condition. Um, opinions have varied as to whether these are salvageable or not. Um, that's got to be looked at more scientifically and then has to be addressed by the Historic Preservation Commission. So again, that would be step number two. Um, this is the vacant lot that didn't used to be a vacant lot on North Troop. This is where the house burned. As you see, right up against the north wall of the Salvation Army. This is where the driveway would come in from North Troop into a, a shared parking area internal to the site. Again, this is the second house on North Troop that's boarded up. And then the house on the corner that's fenced in, it's hard for me to tell for sure if that's a house or a duplex. Land use pattern is mostly single family all the way around. Um, houses on Virginia Avenue. This is actually looking northward up the west side of Troop Street. And then directly across the street, one of the newer houses, neighborhood development had been installed. And then this is um, the next lot south. This is directly east of the subject property that is actually a five unit apartment building. Uh, one of the things to remember from R6 is we think of it as a single family zoning district, but before the LDR, R6 was also the multifamily zoning district. So in R6 neighborhoods, particularly older ones such as this, you may see duplexes and occasionally small apartment buildings such as the one across the street to the east. Southward, you get into the commercial development about Austin Daily Times as you go on down towards Central Avenue. So this is sort of on the edge of a neighborhood. Um, staff's thought is just conventional RM zoning, conventional development under RM is acceptable, provided that the historic district design guidelines are in place as monitored by the HP Commission, which means even an apartment building to be built here would have to still be compatible with the surroundings. So with all of that, staff is okay with the RM zoning to give them the green light to go on to the next step if they so choose. And so with that, we're recommending approval of the zoning change. So go ahead and answer any questions you may have on this. So they're not actually building any multifamily, they're just using the three homes that are already on the property. Correct. Um, what you have before you is simply the zoning change of R6 to RM, nothing else. We're not approving any master plans, demolitions, or new construction. Master plans for PD, I think, would be at the end of the process. Um, their next step really is to answer the historic question as to which of these buildings might be eligible for demolition or approved for demolition. And then if they're to be replaced with new construction, then what does that new construction have to look like? Um, with those architectural decisions in place, then they can go forward with plan development for the whole campus and tie it all together. Any other questions? All right. Is there anyone who would like to speak on behalf of this request? Please come forward. I don't know if I need to say good evening or good night. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we are, we've been in Dallas for 98 years, so since uh, 1944. And so we've been leading the community in Jesus' name without discrimination. So we're looking to continue to do that. We're seeing two things that are, are pressing need in our, in our community. One is affordable housing and then the space of recreational usage. And so we will come up with this plan to be able to accommodate all those things with this process. So being able to afford affordable housing with those duplex type of houses that will be more, not necessarily a tiny house, but affordable small um, small family homes to be able to have affordable living. The situation that we 
you're saying is, is from our shelter, people go out into housing but can't afford it, and then they want to wind up coming back through the process. Some of them come back through the process, through the shelter. Some of them wind up making our house their home without our, <laughs> without our knowledge. And so uh, that comes with its own mess. And so we've seen um, that happen with some of those vacant homes. You know, the, the vacant lot that's directly behind the Salvation Army, there was a person that was a fatality in there. When that house burned, someone was found in there mm -hmm. deceased. And then on one of those other vacant houses on Virginia Avenue, same thing was the case. A person was in there seeking shelter and wound up deceased. So we want to be able to change that, to be able to offer a step forward and to have a positive impact in the community. So we're looking to change all that by adding those tiny homes or the smaller affordable uh, houses, what we're calling a transitional houses, but then also to expand our gym to be able to offer recreational space for the people that are in the community that are doing because they have nothing to do. When we don't have anything to do, the inevitable is the next step. Crime takes place. So we're trying to uh, alleviate a lot of those things with one, with one stroke of the brush. And then also with the city doing the different things that they're doing with the expansion, the amphitheater, parking is going to be a definite need. And so our parking will be available. We need parking space for ourselves, for our own emergency disaster vehicle, which needs to be housed. And so we're looking to add on to that space there. And we're looking to add bleachers to be able to accommodate. So in Valdosta, Basketball is real big, and so is volleyball. So when those tournaments, when those uh, teams get to start to plan, they recruit a lot of teams, but then practice space becomes premium. They have nowhere to practice. So people have come to us looking for practice space, and then the big drawback is we don't have HVAC. So if we expand, we'll be able to be a, a, another resource. And then some of the other things that will benefit from that would be when the storms come through, hot, cold weather, that we will be a hot, a heat man cool. I'm excited for y'all. I am too, with the approval. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well said. All right, is there anyone else wishing to speak on behalf? Is there anyone tonight? <clears throat> yes. Can I get your name, sir? Oh, oh I'm sorry. That's First okay. time is Kathy. Thank you. She's tired. She's tired. Uh, I didn't even. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, I apologize. How about y'all already? <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there anyone wishing to speak against this request? All right, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Any discussion? I'll ask for a motion. Madam Chair. Commissioner Wiles. Regarding this request, VA 2022-10, for these four parcels uh, to be rezoned to multifamily RM. It has been found to be consistent with the comprehensive plan, and I'd like to recommend that we recommend approval. Second. All right. We have a motion to approve, seconded by Commissioner Bailey. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your right hand. All those against, and the motion carries. Congratulations, Captain Thomas. Thank you. Let's go on. Not yet. Not yet. All right. This is the 